Hey sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are using some of the new items that are just hitting the Dollar Tree to create some really fun Christmas DIYs for this upcoming season. A huge thank you to Wadoku for sponsoring today's video. I'll tell you all about them a little bit later on in the video, but let's go ahead and get started. The first new thing that I found out at my Dollar Tree was this big lantern. Now I have seen these in years past, or last year at least, for Halloween, the orange version, but I don't think I ever got them at my store in a Christmas version. So let me know if this is brand new or if you have seen these last year, but I was super excited to find them. I actually made over the Halloween set and turned them into like a galvanized look and it made them look so much more high end. So I wanted to do the same thing. I took a piece of painter's tape and put it over the inside LED candle and then taking some matte black spray paint. I give these a really good coat paying attention to the inside because I don't want any of that bright green to show through but you could tell how much these look like plastic and then after you spray paint them a color with like a matte color I think that's what's making the huge difference is it looks so much more high-end. I wanted to set these off with some greenery at the top give them like some pretty accents to make them look more like Christmas. So went in with some greenery and just took these off of a floral pick, glued them across from each other, added some little berries in the center. I was going to leave this as is, but I just love this ribbon. I actually got it on clearance last year from the Dollar Tree or this year from the Dollar Tree and I have been using it so much so I thought this would be a great place to put it in between the handle and the greenery. It just adds a little bit of extra texture with the burlap fabric or ribbon texture fabric. But I feel like this looks so gorgeous. I went ahead and made two of them at the same time. You could make these on hooks. These take two AAA batteries. I haven't ran them out yet so I'm not sure how long they'll last but they look gorgeous and how cute are these for $1.25? Before we go any further, I want to stop and tell you a second about Wudoku and thank them for sponsoring today's video and tell you why I love them. With over 100 million downloads, it really speaks for itself, Wudoku is the perfect cozy relaxing game, perfect to download for these upcoming chilly nights when you just want to sit down and snuggle up on the couch. Wudoku is a fun yet challenging block game that keeps training your brain while you're winding down or chilling out relaxing of the evening. Doku is completely free to download and play on both iOS and Android devices. There are hundreds of challenging levels to test your IQ. You simply arrange the wooden blocks into lines or the squares, so it's kind of like the classic Sudoku but without the complicated numbers. I love that it's actually challenging, so it is harder than it looks. You're not just dropping random blocks. You have to be strategic. I will have all of that information linked down below so that you can go click the link and download Wadoku. It really helps out my channel if you want to go use that link or I'll put a QR code up on the screen. You can also scan that, but go download it for free today and start trying it out for yourself. Another huge thank you to Budoku for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into crafting. Even though Dollar Tree is rolling out the Christmas items, they still have a lot of the leftover summer pieces. So each of my stores have these bells still setting out. This is an incredible deal. Grab these bells because at Walmart, they have similar bells for $10, anywhere from five to $10. And they're just black with the same rope handle. So I knew I could recreate these on a budget. So using the bells, I'm just taping off the rope at the top. I didn't even wanna have to worry about pulling the rope out and getting the middle little piece all messed up. I still wanted these to be functional. So just taped off the rope and then went in with some black chalk paint. You could spray paint these, but they do have some texture to them. So I just thought this might like cover it a little bit better. Yes, I am using the Dollar Tree chalkboard paint. Give these a couple of coats and let them dry. After they dried, I pulled off the painter's tape. Now I'm going to be connecting these together. You could add some more greenery or berries or ribbons to the top of these. I'm just going to leave them plain so that I can hang these from wreaths. Let me know what the craze is about all of these bells for Christmas. Like where do you put them? I know on your tree, but I'm like maybe in just garlands. I'm not sure, but leave that in the comments down below. Okay. 
Okay, so I have been seeing these Wi-Fi signs um, for the last couple of months. I grabbed some and I never got around to using it for the fall season, but I thought this would be a great opportunity to make one over for Christmas time. So I had a fun, like, unique idea. I don't know if it's a fail or if it turned out really good, but I think it's cute. I think this would be incredible in my kids' room or maybe, like, with a Grinch table. But I am using one of these signs and painting the middle white. I feel like it would give it a cool little effect to leave the black edges. So I'm just tracing along the line that was already there in white and giving this a couple of coats of white chalk paint until it's fully covered. These are the cutest thing. They're little LED lights for $1.25. They have the cute little colorful bulbs on them. So I went ahead, untied them, laid them around the sign, and I'm going to start connecting them with some hot glue. You can tell that I'm being a little bit hesitant. I'm not sure how I was going to space these out or if this didn't look like a crazy mess, but I'm gonna go ahead and stick with it. I insert some batteries in this. I'm not sure why all of them screw shut for these. It drives me crazy having to go hunt up a new tiny little screwdriver to replace these batteries, but I tried to spread them out evenly and glue them back and forth so they kind of looked like crazy looking. I think this is really cute and then glued the battery pack on the back. Next, I knew I had to write Merry and Bright in this little sign. I was trying to think how to do it. I considered using the wooden letters from Dollar Tree, but I did want this to look really good and put together since the bulbs are kind of messy. I didn't want to look like a five-year-old put this together. So I went to my Cricut and cut out Merry and Bright. I think that was the best move. It looks really good. Um, I love this little image. This is already a pre-made image. I just searched for Merry and Bright on in the Cricut store. And um, I love it. I think it looks really good, even the little accents around it. But this is so colorful and cute. Definitely a whimsical piece that I'll enjoy all year. Okay, I get excited for the LED candles. These red sparkly ones are really great. These come in several different colors and it's actually like really attached to it. I was trying to show you that when you touch it, glitter doesn't get everywhere. I wanted to pair this with one of the metal uh, bottle cap signs. Whenever you flip it upside down, I feel like it become like a little like vintage pie pan. I thought it looked really antique and cute, kind of vintage, so I loved it. So I went ahead and added some greenery and just loved this so much as is. I didn't even do anything else to it. I'm definitely going to be making some more of these, but this would be gorgeous to add to a long tablescape. You could make multiple ones of these, but the glow on these are really good. I love these big bags of pine cones. I can't believe we are already crafting with pine cones. And one of my favorite things to do with pine cones is just easily add some glitter, fake snow, or white paint to them. These, I go ahead and like pour them out. I feel like this is a really good amount for the $1.25 if you can't find them like in your backyard. I feel like you're still getting several for usually what Dollar Tree puts out. And then going ahead and using a paper plate to pour out my Mod Podge and this faux snow. I have an entire video on using Using this faux snow. I'll have it linked down below if you want to go check it out. It's one of my favorites. I made some really fun things with it and I'll definitely be making some more projects with it. I always stock up on it whenever Dollar Tree puts it out, but I feel like if you're not ready to go all in on Santa Claus and the Grinch or any of like the stockings or anything this early in the year, then it's making like pieces like pine cones and working with like natural pieces that can come out like really early. Um, it just feels a lot better sometimes. If you're not ready for Christmas, I know on YouTube we have to start Christmas crafting super early and I know some people fuss about it, but that's just how it has to be because it 
just takes so long to make content. If I started the 1st of November, I wouldn't even get anything out until the middle of November and it would have already been too late for views. So I stuck these in a little Dollar Tree bowl. I think they look really cute and it just elevates them so much. I'm just going to go ahead and put this out there. If you see these huge jars at Dollar Tree, go ahead and pick up three of them. I feel like doing so many things with these. I feel like they are going to go super fast and these are incredible for Christmas crafting. They are a huge size and they make the perfect like snow globes. So for this, I just wanted to share with you really quick how to put together a really fast little snow globe. I glued down and made a little platform using the tower blocks, glued that down in the bottom. And then this pack of trees actually comes with two taller ones and three smaller ones, which is incredible. I added three in there and then added the fake snow and to cover up the entire platform and this looks really good um you could go ahead and cut out something with your Cricut like a label to put over the front I'm just adding a little ribbon to the top as well as a little bit of greenery because I want to be able to see in there but I already have so many ideas using these jars so I'll definitely be stocking up on some more so much for checking out today's video leave me a big thumbs up if you're ready for Christmas crafting I know it's a little bit early but I love the content so I'm excited to get some ideas out for you guys when the Dollar Tree is first putting out their new things and what you need to be grabbing don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up also don't forget about Wudoku a huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video I'll leave all that information linked down in the description box you can click the link or scan the QR code that I have up on the screen and go download it today Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting. Bye.